So is was Kamala the first impression that you really honed in on? Were you doing comedy prior to this? No, I was just doing the skit comedy, very low production videos. Like I said, just to kind of grow a base, see what's going to happen. Um, I wasn't even making money at that time. Nothing like not even from views, just just for fun, you know, keeping the community laughing. And then I had made a video. I, I remember it was about the Will Smith slap. I remember that was like, it was just like me talking because I didn't do many of those. And my followers were always like, like, who are you? We want to, you know, we want to know who you are. I'm like, okay, let me just, you know, hop on here like everyone else does. And <laughs> one of my followers was like, you sound like Kamala Harris sometimes. And wow. I replied to his comment. And then I, I just attempted the impression and then that video blew up. And then it just kind of like began from there. Wow. And very, that, very your first attempt was on TikTok? Yeah, the first attempt was on TikTok. I pinned it actually. I have like like a ridiculous uh, haircut over there too. It says it's like 3.3 .3 or 3.4 million views, but that was the first oh. one. And it's me saying like Kamala Harris speaks in a very significant tone or something like that. It wasn't even that good of an impression. It was like a freaking 20 <laughs> second video. But from there, I just kind of honed in on it and I started doing it over and over again, listening to her and I, I crafted it. I believe mastered it at this point. But it was good enough. Uh, let me pull up your TikTok because I am not on TikTok. I don't know. I think I just judged it right away. I was like, I don't want the Chinese up in my business. But the third one. Have. Yeah, I know. I feel you. Is it this one here. Yeah. Ooh. Do, 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 do. And of course, there's no volume because I am a technical okay. genius. Huh? Kamala Harris speaks in a more condescending tone. Okay. <laughs> she says a lot of things without saying a lot of things. <laughs> there's usually a laugh involved. <laughs> I don't know where the laugh comes in. <laughs> Kamala Harris. I was in. It's so yes. funny to me. So this was, this oh. was out. Well, this is without you doing a lot of research, I guess. You just were like. Nothing. That was just me like taking know. a whack at it. Yeah. And this pinned one here. Uh, wow. Is this your most viewed one? 10 million. Oh, right that here? one. And that too. Like just standing in the kitchen, drinking coffee and turned on my camera. I'm like, let me just make something <laughs> funny. And that's the most viewed video. Like not the ones that I work on, but I'm these are the ones I go. It is good though. United States. <laughs> And we have states. <laughs> and they're united. <laughs> this is actually so perfect because of states should that your house looks presidential. It's so perfect for these videos. It now. really is. Well, they have a president to preside over them. Oh, that's good. <laughs> and think about everything that we see. Wow. And that we haven't seen yet in order to reside and live in those states. But the question stands. Damn. Who will unite these United States? <laughs> oh, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my God. Wowie, wowie, wowie. So what was your process like for really like now? Cause you obviously, you know, did some work between your first attempt and what you do now. What was your process like? So I've, I've always kind of been sort of a mimic. I want to say when I was on the Megyn Kelly show, I talked about this and I can, I'm very good with auditory like memory. So I just started listening to her that that's kind of how I'm good with the lip syncs and I don't miss like a breath. I don't miss it. So I started listening. Like I hear, I heard the voice quivering sometimes. I also heard that her cackle took like different octaves. So when I started doing just skits on my own as Kamala, um, the laugh was still very like high pitched. It wasn't as good, but then rebel news reached out to me, like shout out to him. He's so amazing. Ezra Levant. He's, he's, he was so sweet. He was like, he was like my first grandpa in entertainment. And he's like, listen, I love what you're doing you know, like we'll, we'll help you. Like we'll, you know, we'll, we'll push out the videos for you. We'll help you with the editing, make it look, you know, nicer. And just that practice that, you know, they provided like, you know, skit after skit, the more I did it, the more it just kind of started, you know, becoming its own character. So for the, you know, in the beginning I did just verbatim her speeches, like word for word, people can like laugh at how similar I sound to her. And then I started getting snarkier with it because I'm snarky myself. So once I felt confident in just, you know, you know, and speaking like her and you know, saying whatever the hell I want, now it's a different story. And if you really <laughs> think about 
<laughs> what she does with her face and you know what she's what she does with her hands and how she tries to right <laughs> <laughs> yeah so just watching her over and over again and she really does these repetitive things repeat like you know these mannerisms i'd say just put them together and like i said once i got confident with the with the voice and with her inflection with her cadence the laugh especially once i nailed the laugh i was kind of able to really expand on the character oh my gosh it's so interesting and i was thinking a lot about what you said before about i don't know why i, I think it's a comedian's job like even if you're just reading her speech people can hear how how truly ridiculous oh, yeah. the things she's saying are but it's our job as comedians to like really observe and exaggerate and and you're taking somebody under a microscope when you do that. And I think people can see because they're not looking at you as a presidential candidate and they're not trying to like parse through what it is you mean. They can hear what you're exaggerating and go, oh, that's that's just a little bit off of what she's actually doing and saying. And it yep. makes things more clear. Like, yeah, a comedian's job is to entertain, of course, make you laugh, make you forget about your problems. But sometimes, yeah, sometimes last year I was on Gutfeld and Tyrus was like, I'm sick of seeing like the clips of this girl. No offense to her, but it's like, <laughs> Kamala is a parody of herself. Yeah, he was just kind of like, Kamala is already like the parody. We don't need to even have a guest on the show pretending to be her. She's a joke. She she presents herself in that same way. And I'm like to myself, like, he's right. He's not wrong. I, I can, I, even when I exaggerate it, it's like, that's probably something she would say or that's the way she would, you know, internalize it. So it's really, it's fun stuff putting uh, these people under a mic. I think we do need someone like you to do, because how many people can do a Kamala impression? Like she's so... um it's very particular and it's it like is, yeah. kind of it's subtle in a way and not a lot of people can do a Trump impression. A lot of people can do a bad Trump impression, but like, I don't see people attempting even a Kamala impression. It's like, it's I've seen some, I've seen a handful, not a lot. I've seen, I've definitely seen some climb out of the woodwork now. Um, I like to think I'm one of the few that has a lot of creativity with it. Not to like, you know, I'm not, you know, patting myself. I'm just, I kind of use it to poke fun at her, but I've seen some really vanilla impressions that are just kind of, you know, pretending to be her like, verbatim saying what she would say if they were like in a store or whatever but there there are some good impressionists out there there's actually one she's a comedian um veronica mosey who i don't know if she's even a big comedian but i saw her impression it was so good that i reached out to her i'm like we need to do a video together because go check her out on instagram and oh, veronica okay. like shout out to you um but it was just so good so i want to give her the shout out because she doesn't get like the enough love she doesn't get enough love and i've seen other impressionists get so much more love and i'm like this is not no this is not up to my par at all like this this girl's actually really good so i can't wait to drop that video I'm, I'm currently working on it now but it's really good the voice is good and she's funny with it she's like wow. she's like me she's like me so i love to see people get creative with it if you're gonna do it like she's already a jackass i don't want to hear how she's a jackass like right. i can i study her speeches already but if you really can nail like the inflection okay and she and she gets so creative with it it's really really funny so kudos to her if you want to check her out but um yeah i will agree with you i've had so many trump impressionists reaching out to me if some of you are listening mm. i'm sorry there's only one of me um but i've met a few i've met ty sean farish um i would love to work with shane gillis at one point or another i think he's hysterical Shane is great. Shane, shane's like you know she's he's the goat but uh <laughs> there's so many there's so many austin nassau reached out we might do a video together soon so it's it's fun it's fun stuff this was great yeah you were recently on gutfeld with my boy tyler fisher this is just a little a little bit uh from your guys interaction in the dressing room we're gonna make america strong again we're gonna make america brave again and we are excuse me <laughs> excuse me what a nasty woman of course Pamela, <laughs> Kamala. Camel toe is trying it's to Kamala. Camel toe is trying to take my notes. I don't need your speech. She's I the borders are suddenly you want to close the border, right? Just I don't like I'm the border. Speaking. Yeah, you're speaking I'm in a speaking. terrible tone, and you you're trying to assassinate me with that vocal <laughs> fraud. Frankly, no such thing. that laugh could assassinate somebody. Why do we have to share a room for hair and makeup? This is ridiculous. Because the budget cuts, because of inflation. This is because of you. We have to share a dressing room. Think of it on the debate where I'm gonna annihilate her, right? <laughs> I'm gonna annihilate the fix her. Is in. <laughs> the fix is in. What an nasty one. 
What a nasty woman. She's the snake for my book. Like a know, cartoon. Me a you like to improvise this whole thing. It was so good. Wow. Woman That's cried. awesome. This part That's killed me. You can see I broke character. There's the snake. There's the <laughs> you want a good. snake? I could have. <laughs> Leading your like country. I like seeing Think of it. We love diversity. The first retarded hyena, right? There's your diversity. Sad. I heard that. I'm speaking. Sound familiar? Sound familiar? That's my line. Is he, who's stealing lines now? She's going to be in jail. She's going to be in jail. Lock her up. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it so so fun. Fun. Yeah, we had a great time. We had, he's so, he, and he's so talented. Ty, if you're watching, love you. Yeah. Love meeting you. But yeah, he's so talented. He does great other impressions too. So I'm like really, oh, yeah. I'm in a weird place because I'm not, I don't have professional uh, acting skills or like training. But I know I can probably do other impersonations, but I can't like, it just keeps going back to Kamala because I've just done it so long that I need to like erase her. So we will see in two weeks if I, if you're going to keep hearing this it's because unfortunately she won and I just got to ride the wave and do it for the American people, you know, while we're yeah. up to our knees and shit. Wins, because, you know, the country's going to do really poorly the next four years, but you personally will do great. If Trump wins, I would say you have saw, I don't know, you could maybe do it for another six months. Probably maybe yeah, but longer. It's not it's not the it. brand that I want. That's that's what I want to get across. Yeah. Like listen, I'm doing this for the people at this point. If I had an option, I would absolutely stop this. It's it's for me, it's like, you know, but I have to I have to do my part. I feel like this was given to me, like to expose her to talk about this because I have the I have the capability to discuss these issues or whatever. Yeah. Um but if I could expose her and if this makes even one or two differences, then like I have done my job. I really feel strongly about her not winning. It would be really bad for everybody, for everybody, for everybody, for the world, really. Yeah, absolutely. I think I think it is your job to expose her. I think a lot of people you can reach a lot of people through comedy that exactly that you that you wouldn't ordinarily be able to. And um, yeah, just politics mm -hmm. is just. Ugh. It's a dirty not, game, not, darling. It's a dirty game. It's a yeah. dirty game. It's it's like sometimes it's hard to get into, hard to understand what the hell they're talking about. Good night, Mister says, Esty, keep kicking a and taking names. Thank you. Love you guys. Thank you for the chats. Thank you for the comments. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. All right. Love you guys. Oh, I don't even want to leave. This candle smells so good. I don't want to leave. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. Love you all. Join the Discord. Feet. Love you all. Wow. You guys are awesome. Don't even get it. Bye, guys. Bye. Now I'm really leaving. Love you. Bye.